everyone, it's Jenny. Welcome back to my channel. I know what you guys are all thinking. Damn girl, you look good. Just kidding. Yeah, I, d I recently dyed my hair brown and um, I'm kind of liking it. Let me know what you guys think. But anyways, that's not the point of this video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to revamp your furniture by using spray paint. Honestly, this wasn't supposed to be a video at all. I was looking for a TV stand for my room and the one that I ordered did not turn out the way that I thought it would. I've been looking for a TV stand for my room for a long time now. Thing that I had in my room was a coffee table that I got for my parents and that table was just there to put junk on top of it to be honest. So I really wanted to buy a TV stand and have like drawers so I can put stuff in. And I finally found something that I liked off of Home Depot and I'll go ahead and insert a photo of what I wanted. I thought it was gonna be really really nice it's like a gray color i know that they had two colors it was like a, either a gray or natural color and the gray fit in my room a little bit more like who knew tv stands are gonna cost that much it's not the cheapest it's it's a good amount it's a good amount when i came home we opened the box i was so excited i was just like yes it's finally home i opened it and it was green it did not look like a gray color at all like even the description said it was gray it wasn't at that point my mom and my dad were just like why don't you just return it you know what I've been waiting for it for so long already so we built it brought it over to our living room yeah the color is just not working out with our space at all I was just like you know what this can be a video here's some content for y'all I felt like I can tackle down this project I pretty much stand down the TV stand to see what it looks like underneath the green paint and it was like this really light natural wood color and I was just like you know what I still don't like that the drawers had like those little what what do you call that the little baskets type you guys see what it looks like yeah it had the green paint in between all those cracks too so I tried to sand it down and I did like that color but the only issue was there was paint all over it. It was so hard for me like to sand everything down. It was coming off. I used nail polish remover with a Q-tip and that really helped it too. But you know how long that would take me to do? Went to Home Depot. At first, I was just like, why don't we get the paint, you know, like the hand paint, you know? <laughs> My mom was just like, oh yeah, don't buy any brushes, okay? Because your dad has brushes. I was like, all right. But then I found some spray paint that are made for furniture and I was just like, why not make it easier on us and not have to paint by hand and just like well you're still paying by hand but they're spraying it instead of like painting it on with a brush found this really nice color in the color smoky beige by rust-oleum i really like the rust-oleum brand because coverage on the paint is actually really nice and it was the two times ultra cover paint plus primer i was super happy to find that because i didn't have to sand down that piece at all you know prime it before i start painting it I just had to spray it on and we're good to go. So when we came home, I started to tape like all the shelvings down using like the paint tape, covered that area up because I didn't know what I wanted to do with it yet. Maybe I would have sanded it down afterwards, but yeah, tape that off and then just cut the edges with a X-Acto knife just to make a clean cut on the sides. After that, we took it outside and we started spray painting it. We should have worn a mask because me and Jimmy were like dying from all that fume from the spray paint. Afterwards, I think we were like feeling it. Wear a mask when you're spray painting because all those fumes are like pretty toxic. The paint coverage was actually really, really nice. Like the first layer already covered so much and we let that dry five, 10 minutes. It was super dry. Like Jimmy's like, are you sure? We did two coats all around the top piece and the drawers and Pretty much the whole thing the only thing that we didn't paint was the front of each drawer as well as the metal pieces on the sides so we're out there for a really long time spraying everything down i really wanted to get at least you know that base color down first that day so then the next day i can start staining the pieces make sure when you're spray painting you're not putting it super close to the actual area that you're spraying because it'll start dripping and you can totally tell. It turned out so nice. I was so happy that there was no more green that, ugh. So yeah, I let all those pieces dry and then I came back the next day. We should have read the instructions because we've never worked with this stain before. Rust-Oleum aged glaze and we should have looked at it closer because it's it works better on chalk paint and the one that we used was not chalk paint just winged it so I started spraying like some areas of the TV stand and I took like a normal towel and I started just wiping it in one direction 
yeah not not the boy band start wiping it in one direction and it started looking so streaky like i was getting nervous i was just like why is it so streaky but after a few more strokes it started looking really really cool like it went into like all the little cracks of the actual wood and it looked nice so then i was just like you know what it looks cool let's go ahead and spray more and i went to town on it You can totally tell the sections that I was doing it in. I was blending it a little bit more before I ended that section. Instead of just going straight <laughs> down the line, I started spreading it a little bit more. It turned out great. It looks really nice. Be careful. You definitely want to let stain dry the first layer before you put on the second one. Kind of like the paint, but with this stain, if you don't let it dry and you wipe on another layer, like the second layer, and you use the towel to wipe it, it's going to wipe off the whole thing. And I think it's because we use a satin paint instead of a chalk paint. I don't believe that if you use the chalk paint, it would have that issue. So what we did was do the first layer and you know, all the spots that we were missing, we'll go ahead and do it on the second layer. So I let that all dry overnight, came back the next day. The stain spray looked really cool. It definitely looks like a wooden look to it, an aged look to the piece. So really happy on how that turned out. After that, we started taking off the tape in front of the shelves. Here we go again. I was like looking at the green on every little like crack and everything. And I was just like, oh my God, that green is just so freaking ugly. But I was just like, I don't know what to do now. Like, should I just like start sanding that down? You know what? We still have paint left from the smoky beige spray paint. Why not just spray that? And I know thinking that ahead of time, I would have just sprayed the whole entire shelf with that smoky beige rather than taping it off. Took that tape off the shelf where the cover is and then had to do the edges and make sure that we covered that all up. Spray painted the with the smoky beige for the shelf. And all I did after that was take the my towel that I used and I put some of the stain on directly to the towel. And then I started wiping that on top of in front of the shelves. I don't know what the heck that's called, like the basket looking, you'll see what I'm talking about. But yeah, I started wiping that on there and it started giving this like this age, like I don't know how to describe it, but it just started looking really, really cool. So <laughs> that's what I did for all the shelves and so happy of how it turned out. Like it's so nice. When everything was dry, we started putting it back together and oh my God, what a difference of how the TV stand looks like from the beginning to the end. Like, let's go ahead and row the B-roll. Cautious when you're leaving Used to sleep between them Now I'm sleeping different I let you go I'm not used to feeling Feeling like I'm needed Guess I'm not so missed it well, what did you guys think? I thought it looked really, really nice. I could have just returned it and not have to like pay more money to revamp it, but it was fun and it was an exciting project. So I'm so glad that I tackled that on. It was definitely worth it in the end. But anyways, I hope that you guys liked this video. Make sure to thumbs it up if you haven't done so already. Subscribe and check out my other videos if you haven't done so already by clicking that button up there. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.